Hi, welcome to another Christmas color along. This snow globe picture was always one of my favorites in the book. I love the base of snow globe, I love this cute small village, but I can't say the same thing about snow on the background. I am still not sure what to do with the background. First I thought about covering the whole black background with additional layer of black acrylic paint. I am not very fond of so many snowflakes or something like snowflakes. I would prefer to draw them by myself. But I think that I will decide it in the second part of this coloring. In this first part I plan to concentrate on coloring background inside the snow globe around the village and also I will concentrate on coloring base of the globe. For the first part for the background inside the snow globe I will be using several Prismacolor pencils. They lay down very well on this paper. Even from the first layer they are completely able to cover paper and also I selected for the background pastel colors and they are amazing in Prismacolor set. So going from the lilac from around the village to lavender, then to deco pink and a little bit of yellow and blue closer to the edges of the globe. I will draw this soft pastel background. For me it reminds a little bit about very soft mor winter morning. But maybe it's simply a magical sky on a Christmas day. For the snow globe base I decided to switch to polychromos pencils. They are harder, so it will be easier for me to color so many small details which we have on the base. And also in polychromos set there is my favorite pencil, favorite color for the ancient gold, which is green gold. If you don't have polychromos pencils but still want to color together with me, you can simply use for the base of the globe artichoke as the main color for the ancient gold, then add maybe cream, one of the red brown colors like burnt ochre or maybe even pumpkin orange, then one dark brown like dark amber or dark brown and black of course, and you will be perfectly able to do the same thing as I did with polychromos.
The base of the snow globe could look a little bit frightening in the beginning, but you have to remember only a couple of things. I mentioned that source of light is somewhere on the left, so the left part of the base will be slightly lighter than the right part and on the right part we will need to color nice and dark shadow. Also, try to imagine which parts of this interesting base is on the upper layer and which parts are 
inside pressed into the base or partly covered by another element. I started to color from the lightest shade of yellow with cream. I cover all elements which are on the upper layer. Then I will gradually go to darker and darker colors. As I said, main color for this old gold will be green gold pencil, but also on the left side of the base I will be using more cream and Naples yellow, so lighter shades of colors to indicate that this part is more highlighted and on the right part I will try to use more one dyke brown to indicate shadow. It's nice that we already have some black areas on the base because realistic gold has to have quite big contrast between highlighted areas which are col uh, colored with bright yellow and shadow parts colored by dark brown and even black. So don't be afraid to add black to the shadows especially to the areas which are definitely are on the uh, lower layer here are partly covered by another elements of the base so which are in the shadow when you color those with dark colors elements on the upper layer will pop up and you will see nice good relief here